Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is another random read, which is timeless, with the intention of what is being hidden, right? Now, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So I did another random read a little bit ago, and, and you know, I did it, and I was done, and I, you know, I went about my things. Because, you know, I like to take breaks in between, kind of clear my mind, and I could not get that last reading off my mind. So I was thinking, oh my God, am I going to am I gonna do another one? What What is this other one going to be? You know what I mean? And so I was like, you know, I'm going to do a reading with the intention of what's being hidden. Like as I shuffle, what is being hidden? What is being hidden? What is being hidden? right so these are the cards that I'm using let's get started <laughs> let's find out okay so I'm gonna put these to the side and I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know I got these big monsters again but it's okay I got this <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to do a what is being hit in general energy, right? What is the general energy of the collective who want to know what is being hidden, right? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> All right. General energy of today's reading is the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this lady. Mm-hmm. She's very courageous, very passionate, very strong, right? Has a lot of confidence, this lady, right? She's a fire sign, passion, right? So the energy of this reading, and for, you know, most of y'all that are watching are, are passions, you know, confidence, strength. I'll take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoot. All right. So let's go ahead and, you know, let's see. You know, what is being hidden, though? What is, you know, we're trying to find out about, you know, secrets and illusions, right? Is there any way we can get a little info on that? Please. What is being hidden? Let's take a little look-see here. Okay, well, we have the Prince of Cups. <laughs> you know? This guy coming in with a message. Mm -hmm. He got something to say. <laughs> he has something to say in terms of, you know, emotions. This is a uh, water sign, right? Don't get too focused on the signs, you know, but yeah. Uh, Prince of Cups is coming in with a message of, you know, it could be, you know, it's emotions. What is he holding? You know, what is that? These drawings. <laughs> he's holding, you know, he's, ho I think he's holding like a plucked lotus in one hand, but it's like he's holding it like upside down. And then he's holding like a cup with a snake in it. Mmm. Willy-nilly snake? I don't know. What's in that cup? Hey, can I get you a drink? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. No, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Like, somebody want to offer you a drink? No, no, no. I'm cool. You know, I'm not thirsty right now. <laughs> right? Yeah. We have the five of cups. Yep. Look, disappointment. <laughs> Why? Because you didn't take the drink? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe you didn't take that drink, and now somebody is mourning over the loss of something. The relationship. 
the friendship. This is the card of Scorpio. Just saying. Oh, Prince of Cups. It's a water sign. Isn't a Scorpio a water sign? Yeah, it sure is. Sure is. <laughs> I feel like I have to sneeze, and I swear to you, I have not sneezed in like months. And I feel like I have to sneeze right now. I'm trying to hold it back. I don't even know what. Ain't nothing different in the house. Got the same smelly, sniffy stuff burning. No, what is going on? I feel like I have to sneeze right now. Okay, it went away. <laughs> Interference. And you see that? Did I just not interfere with that stupid sneeze right now? There's an interference going on here. Somebody is interfering in regards to this Prince of Cups. Somebody is somebody is not allowing You know, it looks like I, I, I'm feeling something. I'm feeling like somebody is with this Queen of Wands, and it could be this Prince of Cups. I feel like this Queen of Wands is a very demanding and, and, and you know, individual. Somebody who is like, you do what I say right now, you know, kind of person. Like, you can't do this. You can't do that. You better stay. You better, you know, like like a mother either a mother saying that like you better type of thing or this is a mother of their children their mother um an older sister somebody who is you know basically telling this person what they need to do what they should and shouldn't do in life or something i don't know but it looks like this person you know this person could also be telling this person to go offer a cup of something out to somebody remember what i said though hey would you like a drink no i'm not thirsty right don't take any don't take any food or drink from this individual if somebody is coming towards you i'm just saying i am just saying don't do it okay this person might be doing something in spite because you ended something with them or somebody ended some because they're mourning over the loss of this relationship if this is resonating with you if you ended it with this person they're going to come they're trying to come back but they're going to come back sneaky with something and i think it's you know i think there's some sort of plan you see, I knew I needed to do this reading. <laughs> you see, but there's an interference of somebody feeling trapped. So somebody is feeling trapped um, because they are more, they're mourning over the loss of this relationship. They're feeling trapped. Somebody may have tried to, to do some willy nilly uh, the last time they visited you. Maybe you already said no to the drink or the food or whatever. Maybe you were the one that cooked and, and did everything. So they didn't have a, an opportunity to give you their, their poison whatever they had I don't know I don't know but this person definitely is disappointed that this didn't pan out and now because it didn't pan out this person is trapped or feeling trapped or you know this is a card of Gemini so somebody here might also be a little bipolar right but they're feeling trapped and i think they're feeling tra it could be trapped in the own confines of their own mind right because the eight of swords is usually somebody in the self-imposed prison of their thoughts right but this person i don't know somebody could be actually you know or could have went to jail or Re, been locked up in, in rehab or a psych ward or something somebody here may have had to do that had to go through something like that if not then yes definitely feeling trapped in uh some sort of mental something i don't know you know what i'm saying like some mental health issues you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah 
yeah, issues. <clears throat> These two cards add up to the number 13, which reduced down to the number 4. So the number 13 or the number 4 might resonate with somebody out there as a life path number or, you know, 13 is a very popular number. This is why I say it as such, but it does reduce down to, to um, the number 4. So this Prince of Cups could also be disappointed because somebody interfered with uh, this situation. There's, there, was a, there was an interference by an outside source. And, and now they're feeling trapped because somebody interfered in what they had going on. And it kind of it screwed them up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it screwed them up. So what else do we have here about this this uh, Prince of Cups right here? Anything else about this Prince of Cups? And what's being hidden? What is being hidden still? I'm trying to figure that shit out. Let me get this. Mm -hmm. Well, what's being hidden? I mean, what he, what he he can't let go of something. Something he's just hanging on to something, and it's not just that bird, right? He's there's something he can't let go of here because he just can't. And look, the number four, lo and behold, the number four, right? Can you see that better? I don't know about this uh, camera, but. Yeah, and look, 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 look. We got the number four. We got the little sun symbol right there. And we got the little Capricorn symbol right down here. And we got every element right here. We have water, fire air and earth hmm somebody may have all those signs in their chart they might have all the elements in their chart hmm. very interesting so he's dealing with someone who's got all those elements in their chart uh, that they can't seem to hold on uh, let go of right <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing at him it's just it's so funny because he wants to reach for something on the table so bad, but I have it perfectly that he just can't reach. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's out of his reach. Out of his reach. Yeah, this person that they can't let go of is out of their reach at present. You are not in, you are in separation. Out of his reach. You are out of his reach or out of her reach. Out of each other's reach. So you're at a distance. You're at a distance. <clears throat> Sometimes interferences are good, right? That inf interference gave me an, an epiphany, right? Of some sort, a message. What else do we have here in regards to... Um, what, is, what is a secret? What is being hidden? And my, my arms and my wrists are all tired from... <laughs> because <laughs> they're so big it's okay okay so all right <clears throat> yeah what is being hidden you have some secrets yeah we know about those and it has to do with you know that sun now why would the moon be over the sun oh you know why the moon is over the sun? Because when the moon is over the sun, the sun is over the moon, right? But when it's over the sun, it is nighttime. So something here happens at night. Something here will happen at night. Something will be illuminated in the evening time. And we have the sign of Pisces right here.
I just took a penny out of his mouth. I just, you know, anyways. Yeah, something here is, uh, it either happened at night, will happen at night. Um, this may have ended at night. Something happened at night. Yeah, and, and there was there was cruelty. You know, we have cruelty here. Somebody may have been cruel to another individual. And this is why now somebody is feeling trapped because maybe they're mourning over the loss of this relationship because somebody was really cruel to another individual. And the problem here is, is they don't know what to do about it. They feel trapped. They feel like they don't, you know, they're trapped in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts or, you know, they're being trapped where they are. I'm gonna sneeze again. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, oh my gosh. And it happened the last time I came to about this card. Somebody might not be feeling well. Maybe somebody has a cold. <clears throat> Maybe somebody is sick. You know, when I look at this card, and it doesn't really show much, right? But I see a lot in this card. Do you see how the swords are really sharp, right? And there's like a drop of blood coming from it. I'm feeling like, I'm almost feeling like, um, <laughs> Somebody, um, might be, you know, it reminds me of like, um, you know, syringes and a drop of blood coming out or something like that, you know, it reminds me of that. It, it, somebody is being cruel. Maybe somebody is doing too much. Maybe they've used all their swords and they have just one more left. Don't use it to do that. Somebody may be um, using, somebody may be using also with syringe. And there's cruelty involved here, like, oh man, I'm getting a weird um, thought. Like maybe somebody may give somebody something with something toxic in it and it makes them real sick or ill or, or worse. And they do it intravenously and, and they fuck themselves up. They OD or something. And it happens at night. Somebody has power over another individual in regards to this, which could be um, somebody who's holding whatever's in that syringe, right? Ugh. I don't even like going there. I, let's let's move on. That, hopefully that doesn't resonate with anyone, you know, to be quite honest. <clears throat> what else? What is What else do you have for what is being hidden here? What is being hidden here? What is being hidden here? What else is being hidden here? What else is being hidden here? What else is being hidden here? I knew there was another one was going to come out. I just wanted to make sure. Let's see. <coughs> so.
So we have the Princess of Cups, right? This is like the Page of Cups. And this is about somebody bringing in a message. Now, a message could be in regards to a child. I see, like, I see this this lady. She's holding, like, some sort of shell. And inside that shell is, like, a little animal of some sort, right? It looks like it might be a turtle, but it's, I don't know. Have the uh, we have a fish here, so this might be Pisces. Mm -hmm. And there's that flower again, the lotus, but this one is being held upright. Why does that seem so significant here? Because one, one is not really a lotus. What is a lotus and one is some other thing. Some weird plant. But it's a bloomed plant. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to look that up later if I remember. I don't remember half the readings anyways, and I don't really re-watch them. So, yeah, somebody, this Princess of Cups, this is a message coming in, a message of emotions from this guy, you know, from this Knight of, or this uh, Prince of Cups. You know, he's coming in with a message, right? And he's coming in, and, and you know, I'm thinking there might be an offer. He's coming in with a little offer of something because this person can't let go. And this is what I'm thinking here, you guys. Look, if, 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 it's, if it's a substance, don't take it, okay? And, and I know a lot of people, oh, you know, why don't somebody want to give it to you for free? Take it, take it. Don't, don't. Even if it's a substance, whatever, don't take it, you know, um... I have a feeling just don't take it, okay? And because, um, you know, they got those roofies out there. They got all kinds of weird things that you could pop in your drinks. No, don't take it, whatever, you know. I just, you know, at, at least until the retrograde's over. I, you know, I don't believe that you should. Somebody's going to be bringing in something. And, you know, I look at this and it reminds me of, like, pills or something. Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know. And, and look, she's holding, like, a, a bowl or a plate, like a... No, don't take anything from anybody. Don't accept food or anything unless, you know, you go and you pay for it somewhere like that. But if somebody's going to hand you food or something, don't just say you're not hungry, you know, or something. Eat after because I, I don't, I'm not feeling like a very uh, trusting good energy from whatever is being offered here. Um, because remember we saw, we did see here that this guy he's got a cup too and there's like snakes in it and, and remember I said don't take that drink don't take that drink right and this one she's got a plate of you know yeah don't and this person may be may be spiteful because somebody ended a relationship and they might have gotten in trouble right after that or something and now they've and then they've had time to think about it and dwell on it and ponder on it and maybe they've got just angry over time and um, you know this may have happened at night somebody may have been on some sort of you know illegal substances or I don't know whatever and um, yeah they're being spiteful and they might be bringing in a token gift you know which is I don't know if it's good if it's just a speaking to you okay no problem you know um, you offer the foods and stuff this time around <laughs> even though you might always do it anyways just let's just be on the safe side right look at Prince of Swords okay uh this guy you know he's coming in with some truth okay so remember i told you if they're coming to tell you stuff okay yeah that's fine come and accept their conversation you know um the conversation is going to be about what was hidden what, what happened at night something was hidden Something was hidden. Something happened at night. Okay, they're going to come and talk to you about this. They're going to offer you some sort of emotion here. But 
there the emotion comes along with some sort of truth too Yeah, and I feel like this this person, it's almost like he's looking like he's pulling an, a, a sword out of his back or something. I, I don't know why I'm thinking that, even though he's, I don't know why he's holding it that way. Look how he's holding it. Now, either he's pulling him out of his back or he's ready to swing. I don't know. But there is some truth. Somebody's coming in to speak some truth about something. And it has to do with something that happened at night. And it has to do possibly with, you know illegal stuff doing you know stuff that's not good for you and uh, somebody may have uh, been hoping some, for some sort of wish fulfillment which is why they're coming back with a message and, and they might have even thought so somebody might this might have happened already and they might have thought that bringing in some illegal substance because maybe they've been dealing this person's been dealing with with drug addicts or some something somebody where they always have to give something to get something and maybe that person did this and somebody was like no you know and they thought that that's what would get them their wish fulfillment but it didn't it actually it, it didn't <laughs> it really really didn't um yeah no uh we also have pisces here this is a card of pisces but whatever happened with in regards to somebody wants to bring a token gift and offer or something in and tell the truth about something about wish fulfillment don't bring in the dope whoever whichever side you're on i don't know don't bring in the dope don't bring in the, the toxic substances don't bring alcohol don't bring something to mind alter somebody because i think that's what somebody's going to try to do when they come visiting they might even drink bring like a a bottle of booze or something or some weed or some some dope don't take it you know just let's go eat how about that let's go out to eat somewhere or something or let me whip you something up is better don't let don't yeah you know i don't know and that shit might be fueled by this individual right here this person may have left this individual to go towards another individual to offer all whatever this is don't take it don't accept it I don't know this you know the queen of wands is a very passionate person but she can also be an extremely angry individual a mad woman an angry woman a spiteful woman and if she has a control over this uh, prince of cups who is younger than her or, or or more naive in some sort of way um yeah no um there could be some sort of um toxic something going on here wow that's deep right so yeah so be careful of i don't know i don't know i'm just saying that hopefully this like i said i hope it doesn't resonate because it kind of it sounds trippy right yeah kind of oh shit look what's at the bottom the tower yeah see so somebody there the tower moment is coming man and it's all because of cheating illusions options right yeah Got the world right here we have the world right here look at underneath we got the tower somebody might try to come in for some wish fulfillment after the tower moment has happened okay um something came crashing down and burning down and people are in havoc and everything but you know the tower Somebody has, knows this already. They're being watched. Somebody's watching this tower happen. Um, and it's all because, you know, here. this is a scar of, card of Scorpio. This is also because, you know, somebody was, you know. And I have a Scorpio male. Yes, sir. A Scorpio male is a person who is going through a tower moment uh, with somebody. Yeah, it looks like a female. Mm. and check this out we have the world right 
And this person could be fire sign. I see fire sign symbol there. I see, um, I see Thoth right there, right? Somebody here is, um, this is a male card. This is a male, obviously, because I see testicles, you know, I mean, I'm going to be straight with you. Um, I also see there are several bodies in this picture. I see one, two, three, four, five, six bodies here. Fire, water, earth, air, ethers, spirit. Maybe somebody is going through some sort of really deep, gnarly transformation. This tower might not even be like an actual tower, tower moment. This might be that somebody goes through something internally, right? Let me see something. I don't know. You know, something is, is tripping me out here. Let me just say something really fast. Okay. Somebody's tower moment is coming down because somebody was very flighty, was fooling around with a bunch of other people, and um, somebody doesn't want to allow that to happen anymore, right? And it could be a woman who brings down the tower moment on a male who, uh, yeah, an end of a cycle is, is going to come here. Yeah, there was too much competition, and look, there in there's a Leo right there, fire sign. Uh, Leo man sorry this is Scorpio woman yeah Leo man Scorpio woman could be huh ten of Pentacles right under all that three of cups third party situation so I suggest we move on to the next deck, right? <laughs> Let's see what, because we see basically what's going on here, right? Yeah. Okay, let me get these cards up real quick. Okay, so I put that, uh, I put the Queen of Wands right there. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if there's any other energies involved in this reading on what's being hidden because <clears throat> you guys all know what is being hidden will always come to the light right yes let's see is there an alternate energy here there sure is there sure diddly do there is okay we have a king of cups Now the King of Cups, you know, he's very emotional. He doesn't show everybody this. He's very emotional. And he could be dealing with a Queen of Wands. Yeah, he is kind of like looking to the side at her a little bit. Not quite, but... But doesn't she act, seem like she acts so superior over him? And, and nobody is superior over anybody by the way we are all equal somehow somewhere or another you know we're all different yes okay and we, we we have all these different uh you know fingerprints nobody is exactly the same but when it comes to you know breathing living emotions feelings all that we're all the same we all hurt the same we all we all feel sad the same you know some more than others some less than others we're all, we all birth the same and we all die the same. But this individual, I feel like, is being maybe um, like a puppet. I hate to say it like that, but like this Queen of Wands is 
treats this person like a puppet, you know? I do see two symbols right here. I see an Aquarius and I see a Pisces symbol right there. So that could mean something. This King of Cups could be dealing with somebody who's got Aquarius or Pisces in their chart. Or this person could have it in their chart. And Aquarius is a f uh, air sign. Pisces is water sign. King of Cups could be a water sign Pisces. Or have Pisces in his chart. Either way, this person is a very emotional person, though. Doesn't really show it too much, but they are. Super emotional, you know, loving, caring, nurturing, all that stuff. They may not show it, but, you know, they are. Maybe they hide it well, right? Because what is hidden? Emotions can be hidden very easily. Let's see what's going on. What else is going on here? For what's being hidden? What is being hidden? What is being hidden? What is being hidden? Ooh, there and see look right where we left off. Right where we left off, you guys. Look, the tower. So yes, continuing with the next deck. So this tower moment comes in, right, for somebody. Because they don't want to succumb to, you know, their toxic energies or their toxic habits. And, and you know, I don't know, you know, I, I, a lot of people out there, they, some, some people have never really been addicted to any type of hard drugs out there. A lot of people have, a lot of people haven't. This person may be someone who's like that, who has been. And the people that they deal with are people who are really, they're addicts. And because, you know, addicts and people who are not addicts, they don't, they don't hang out. They don't hang out and go, go party together. No, they don't because they don't do the same stuff. There's, they don't have that in common. That's what the difference is. So what does a drug addict do? They go to other drug addicts. What do sober people do? They hang out with other sober people. So these are two totally different people. And I'm feeling like somebody may have been trying to bring their little toxic energy in. And the other person was like, you know what? No, I'm good. That's not my life. You know? I mean, I know they're social partiers, you know, drinkers, whatever. They do, they do those things only when they go to a party once in a while, whatever, you know, on occasion, whatever. They don't do it daily, that's for darn sure. But somebody here might, and somebody may have brought that tower moment down to this person to say, hey, that's not me. And this is why somebody may have just left out of there. Because we got the chariot next. Now, you could be dealing with a cancer, but we got the chariot next, and the chariot is about, you know, moving forward. And I think that's what someone did. They brought in the tower because they didn't want to be part of that energy anymore. And now they're moving forward. Somebody doesn't want to be in that to toxic energy anymore, you know? And, 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 and it's like devil energy. And the devil energy is, is like drugs, uh, addiction, alcohol addiction, uh, hoarding, shopping, um, overeating, um, over exercising, just overdoing whatever, right? And somebody's just not into that, right? Somebody here is more into, um, I'm happy with just the abundance around me, you know, the air, you know, the trees, the grass, whatever, you know, somebody is more in tune with the earth. And would rather stay away from toxic energies, possibly uh, lives a very modest life, uh, finds their abundance within themselves because of the happiness they hold within themselves. And that's what's happening here. So somebody, after this tower moment, left that situation and they started working on themselves. They started working on their craft and, and doing whatever they need to do to improve their self. Now you could be dealing with a Virgo. We have Virgo here, right? But somebody did get away with something, right? We have this as a Aquarius here. Somebody got away with something, but not 
everything. Somebody left something behind when they left. They left something behind. And they left it behind, I think, on purpose for somebody to find or... But they did take some things with them when they left. Like they stole something. But they left something behind. Hmm. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra. Those are the main signs that I'm seeing here that just popped out to me right now off this card. <laughs> we have Aquarius. And I have to sneeze again. What the heck? You know when you're about to sneeze in your nose, it gets all, and then it stops. I'm feeling maybe like somebody is hesitant to do something. It could be in regards to this Queen of Wands even. Somebody may be working on something. Somebody left, now they're working on something. Maybe they're planning something. Planning, so you, we got the symbol of the sun right there. It's planning something. Uh, planning some sort of deception. Somebody may be planning some sort of deception because a tower moment came down on another individual because they said, I don't want to do this anymore. Now, this is male or female energy. Whoever it is, it could be a male that said, I don't want to do this anymore. It could be a female that said, I didn't, don't want to do this anymore. Um, this may not have happened yet or it may have happened already, okay? Um, this may have happened already where you turned down, and you could be a male or female watching, you turned down toxic energy because you decided that you didn't want to take that route anymore. And, you know, props to you if that's the case. And, and that's what I'm seeing here. And so that person left you but they left kind of pissed off or angry or upset of in some way um so they left and they started working on themselves and they started you know getting it's kind of like you know you leave a situation because you you know it's no good you get to where you're at and you're just like fuck it i'm gonna work on myself and then all of a sudden you, you just can't stop thinking about what happened like damn why did this happen why did i do this why did i do that and then that, and then you just get so mad because you can't figure it out so what do you do next you start to plan some sort of deception well i'll get them back i'll get you know it's like that when it's not even like that it's more or less like listen i don't want to do what you do anymore i want to go and live a nice abundant a prosperous you know good life be kind to people not hurt people not burn people i want to live like that i don't want to live the way you live and that's maybe what happened and somebody is is mad because somebody doesn't want to do that anymore maybe somebody has come to their senses man you know what i mean man or chick whatever you know i i say i said man but i wasn't intentionally thinking of a man i was thinking about like you know what's that dude what's that man you know like that you know anyways so I have the page of wands here and after this tower moment hit somebody you know left with that chariot yeah they left and they went on another adventure thinking oh you know what screw this person I don't need them anyways okay so yeah that's cool you know go for it and because the page of wands is stepping out on a new adventure right it's kind of like the fool but this person already had a plan where they're going so it's not exactly like the fool like they had their little adventure planned out already you know what i'm saying the problem here is they can't they could not decide on um what to work on next right because maybe this person is, is has a lot of ideas but when they go on these new adventures it doesn't appear that these people that they go on these adventures with are keen with their ideas so they can never choose which person they want to go to, which person is actually going to come through, right? Somebody may have a problem with addictions, but they also are very smart and intelligent. They're maybe a genius, and they have a lot of good ideas, but it's that, that toxicity that holds them back, and it might be this Queen of Wands who's in control of that person who's that King of Cups, right? Any sign, pretty much now at this point. But, um, yeah, 
and somebody's trying somebody wants to really find know their path and which way to go so they what do they do is they choose you know they don't they don't choose they're not choosing their path but they they have a lot of options there right they don't know which one to choose all right or but you know these options are they're just they're not they're not real you know these are illusions seven of cups is illusions and we got them the, the uh, scorpio symbol right there and and also female so this is this person is thinking that they have a lot of uh, of, of options but they're illusions yeah they are illusions okay some of them are toxic, some of them are good for the moment, some of them are good for a little bit of learning and growth, some of them is good for to bother you and teach you something, something is something here is about, you know, vanity, all kinds of shit, all kinds of options, but this person doesn't know which one, so they just jump to the next one, not knowing they do it all willy-nilly, you know, jump into it randomly, they don't even really think about it, and then there was deception. They said they ran into some de deception. Um, nobody liked their ideas. Nobody thought they were smart. No, they just wanted what they had in their pocket or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because people, you know, people out here, they're thirsty. You give them a sip and they want to come and, you know, drink from your you know, faucet, whatever. <laughs> they're fucking thirsty out here, you know. So this person might be definitely they're they're not quite making a choice on what they need to do in regards to um, taking a uh, a new adventure somewhere, right? They they can't make the choice because they got too many options. Well, they think they do, but they they really don't. All right, uh, one of these options is, is is maybe planning some sort of deception uh, in regards to this Knight of Pentacles here, right? Somebody may come go to one of these options and make all kinds of promises. Oh. I promise I'll get a job. I promise I'll do that. I promise this. I promise that. But, you know, we know about these promises. Right? Sometimes people make promises and they don't keep them. That's why I never make promises. Because I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. You know? But people like to throw that word promise around like it's nothing. Trust me, if I promise I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Now, if I'm not, I'm not going to promise. I'll even say I'm not making any promises, right? Somebody here can't do that. They don't know how to do that. They just, they're not honest. So, you know, that's how somebody is. I don't know. Could be that King of Cups. I don't know. Anyhow, what else is going on here with this situation? Anything else? Okay. So this person does want to take a leap of faith with somebody from the past, right? We have the Six of Cups right here. Want to, not a leap of faith. I'm sorry. They want to take a, a go on a new adventure. They want to have a new adventure with this somebody from the past. Scorpio card. Scorpio and the sun. Scorpio and Leo, maybe. I don't know. Look, did I just not say they want to take a leap of faith? I guess I was right. Somebody here is going to make the choice to take a leap of faith uh, towards one of these options. Now, this person may have a lot of options of people from the past. They might know a lot of people from the past. So this could be anyone. You know, the past was like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So this could be anybody from the past. Um, and that's the choice that somebody has to make. A choice from somebody from the past or taking a new leap of faith into a different direction. Okay, those are the options that this person may have. But at present, they're feeling trapped. And remember, we saw that, that trapped in there. So maybe somebody here has been incarcerated or went to jail or something or rehab or mental hospital where they've had time to think about things, right? Now, if that's not the case, they're also thinking about things in regards to... Um, just being in the, that self-imposed prison of their own thoughts. And who's doing all that is this guy. 
the emperor in reverse. Now the emperor in reverse, he's not he's not like a, the normal emperor, right? The, we have the symbol of Aries right there. This could be an Aries right here. This Queen of Wands can also be this emperor, right? This person's in the reverse, so when the person's in the reverse, the emperor, this is not a very smart individual. This is a very mean and nasty individual, uncaring, angry, um, needy, pissed off kind of energy. Do what I say or, you know, you're going to get it type of energy. Very demanding and controlling. That's what this, uh, this energy is right here. The emperor in reverse they do things out of haste too they do it so quickly where they do stuff without thinking and in the end it's a big screw up so that is another person that's being dealt with and, and since we didn't get the queen of wands here and we have this emperor as Aries in reverse. This queen of wands could be that energy. It doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't always have, because because it says queen of wands doesn't mean that it's not a male. <laughs> Just because it says king of cups doesn't mean that's not a female. If it's a female, it's usually just a little more softer. If it's a male, it's a little more um, abrasive, out forward, outspoken, you know. Because, you know, women, they act different. Men act different, right? But a woman can act like that. A woman can be like outspoken, say what's up and how she really feels about shit. Yeah, she can be in that king energy. She can even be in that emperor energy. I just saw 5150, you guys. I didn't want to say it, but I mean... And that's not really like an angel number, but we usually know what that 5150 means, right? Someone here is nuts. <laughs> Someone here is nuts. Someone. So that's what I see that's, that's going on. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck right here real quick. Oh, shit. See, look. Ace of Cups. Somebody definitely wants to start something new with somebody from the past, okay? Um, they they live in comfort, you know. They live with a lot of stability, but somebody wants the emotions and the love now, right? Somebody is definitely finding balance within themselves, Sagittarius, and they are going to make some sort of swift movement uh, towards another individual to create stability. They have passion for another individual. They've been very patient, patiently waiting, and they know they will be judged because this looks like a situation that needs some sort of judgment, right? But they are going to bring in a little token gift. Remember we saw that earlier. King of Wands. King of Wands. A very passionate individual. That could be a male or a female, remember. And this is all karma. And do you guys remember when I said the number 13 might resonate with someone? Well, here, 13 reduces to the number 4, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody is definitely going to be receiving karma, whether it's good or bad. I don't know. But this is the Karmic Wheel of Destiny. And I do see that it, it will be moving. Yep, it will be moving after some truth comes in. Somebody's waiting for something, though. What For what? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea for what, but somebody's waiting for something, right? So, yeah. You know, I happen to have my little Loteria cards right here. Maybe we should see what the Loteria says real quick before we end. Let me go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so let's go ahead. I just did a bunch of shuffles before while we were in pause, so let's see. Let me get nine cards, please. Let me get nine cards. One, two, three. Four. Whoa. Two more. 
One, two. Okay. First of all, we have uh, El Caso, unbiased. It's in the reverse. So somebody here is taking sides basically right somebody here is not an unbiased opinion somebody here um, for instance somebody might be going to somebody for advice because they believe that it's a fair and just person that they're asking but that person is always going to choose what they want not what this person wants this person is is not uh, a biased individual so they somebody is dealing with somebody who is taking sides all right trying to convince another person oh that person's no good they're junk they're this they're that whatever right we also have el arbol shade okay it's in the reverse so somebody is is being shown here their true colors are being shown they're being brought uh brought out from the shade and into the light right yes okay la garza Okay, welcoming. So once this, well, somebody finds something out, you know, they're very welcome to come in, right? You know, because they figured out that somebody was taking sides. Now they see the truth and they go to whoever they need to go to. And that person is very welcoming to them because they see, yes, that's what happened. That's really what happened. I'm serious, you know, and that's what happened, right? El Melon, possibilities right and now this person sees because somebody was was taking sides that they've missed a lot of you know great possibilities in their life opportunities lost because of this person who was choosing sides because they didn't have that person's best interest at heart <clears throat> la maceta restricted and you know now that this person can see the truth and everything they're like they're restricted from moving there because so much damage has been done by this person where they got this dumb you know advice from or information from um they don't realize that you know because actually you know somebody somebody was taking sides they somebody else has been illuminated to this and because they're wondering why is this person always so nice and so this and so that why because they're lying to you they want you to trust and believe them right but now that it's come to light you see things for what they are and you know you see you lost a lot of opportunities you've been restricted from basically living your life and um this is uh, El Nopal, this card, it's about being used, it's in the reverse. And now you are not going to welcome any uh, anybody who acts a certain way, right? You're gonna see this is a red flag now. People will act a certain way with you uh, when they wanna use you, but you now, because you know this sign, it's not, you don't wanna, you're not gonna be used any longer. You learn something, right? It's okay, you learn something, okay? So you got used uh, in the past, you see a lie you missed a lot of opportunities but at least now that you know this has happened at least it's not like 10 years from now all this shit keeps happening right at least you find out now and you're able to move on with your life right you don't need to get back at anyone you don't need to be mean to anyone just leave it alone and move forward because basically that person would love for you to go back and um you know uh one up them you know because then they have you they have your energy they steal your energy you know what i'm saying if they do if you come back fighting because you want to get back at whatever they did they won they won because you're wasting your energy on them okay so the best thing for you to do is not to one up don't get back at them the best way to get back at them is to move forward with your life and succeed <laughs> that'll really piss them off you know what i'm saying yeah look la estrella sense of direction it's in the reverse so maybe this person that you've been going to um has, maybe it's a family member who's been leading you in the wrong direction because they don't want to you know hey you know what family members aren't always rainbows and butterflies and sunshine either you know uh as far as i'm concerned i like i love my family members at a distance <laughs> 
you know what I'm saying? Because I know that it's it's toxic. You know, it doesn't have to be like that with everyone. I mean, I talk to them on the phone. We send things back and forth, gift, whatever. But I know it's safe for me and I stay away. Because we think differently. And now this person here, though, this person is straight evil, though. My they're not my family members. I have a family member that's that's biased too, but not both of them, you know. But this person here is is being malicious about it, though. They don't really have any good intentions for this individual, whoever this is. If it's a family member, could be a parent. Mm -hmm. Steering them wrong just because the person maybe that they uh, are thinking about or what or have had a past with Remember, we saw somebody from the past. Maybe that person is somebody they don't like So they're gonna always say shitty stuff about that person, right? But we have this Estrella in the reverse so and this person has been misled their sense of direction is off they don't know which way to go now because somebody has been manipulating them basically their whole lives or for a long time. This could be, uh, you know, it could even be a relationship. It doesn't have to be a parent. It could be a baby mama. It could be that too, you know. Um, but we have La Sandia next, overindulgence, right? Somebody here was an over overindulged in things. So somebody may have, like I said, somebody could have been controlling with some sort of substances or, or even money or bribes, some sort of bribe. Oh, I'll give you money, you know, if you do just stay here and do this, we'll do or hey, I got you know, I got the dope, or or hey, you know, let's have sex. Just whatever. Bribing, bribing with something, right? Somebody was manipulating something by offering bribes of some sort. Yeah, look at that even. I didn't even notice. Entrancing La Serena. So there was a woman here, possibly, that was seducing another individual, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and this person is always welcoming and whatever, but, but she uses people. You can't use her, though. She's very smart like that. She uses people. But somebody has seen has has been illuminated to something. Now they're feeling a little restricted by the situation. Okay, um, they're keeping something to themselves, though. This restricted person, this person is restricted, keeping something to themselves. Um, they are not um, saying anything about what their intentions are because they have been illuminated to these people with biased opinions, people who are manipulative, um, people who are leading them um, in some sort of there no direction, no direction at all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so yeah that was super long I'm glad I got to do it you know because I got to take my time and really think about things and yeah well, let me know if this resonates with anybody kind of interesting reading okay um, don't forget to subscribe like comment and share it helps the channel out a lot it's good you know also um, keep a true love energy happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm we say cheerful and you know what we're go you're gonna make it through the retrograde <laughs> just uh, hang in there you know we got this okay all right you guys i'm mona this is classical dreams tarot and i'll talk to you later bye